present day, there was a man and his daughter who went out for a stroll at the park. There was a tree that stood uniquely sturdy and covered with fresh-looking leaves and peculiarly colored fruits that caught his daughter's attention. Father, what's that tree called? Oh, that one? That is mulberry tree. Many people opt notice that because of its fruit, which in deep red in appearance. The colorful fruit looks like hardened bread, Father. Yes, of course. You know, my daughter, this tree has a story. The tragic story of two lovers who are deeply into each other, once torn by their fate but reunited by their death. Once upon a time, in the ancient days of Babylon and the reign of Queen Semiramis, houses are so close to each other that a wall has common for both houses. There existed a young valiant man named Permus who fell in love with a lovely maiden bound to perfection named Tisbe. They have grown up and learned to love each other. Amidst the will of their parents to stand against them, love however cannot be forbidden. The hole that has cracked was their only means to express themselves, their ever affectionate Feelings. Oh, dark night, which hides when the sun is out. Alas, where is my beloved Tisbe? Has she forgotten you promised to me? And you all, you have separated me from my Tisbe. Oh, sweet, lovely wall, show me the hole so I can see my beloved. Thanks, sweet lovely one. But what is this? There is no Tisbe. Oh, you vile weak wall. You have deceived me. Oh, well, how open have you heard my cries? How open have I seen you with my sores? My cherry lips have opened, then kiss your stones. I hear a voice. Tisbe, is that you, my love? Answer me. Is that you to be below? My love and my life. Oh, Pyramus, I am Tisbe, my dear. Indeed. You are Tisbe, my love. I want to touch your hands. Bring them close to the hole on the wall. I want to touch your hands too. Oh, Tisbe. Your hands are as soft as your lips. And yours are as strong as Cupid's arrows. Oh, kiss me through the hole of this vile wall. I kiss the wall's hole, not your lips at all. This Miss Mother must know all about this nonsense madness. This me? I can't believe you. Enough of this nonsense. Guards, retreat here and cover the worthless hole right away. This foolish action must come to an end. Let me go. Please, mother. I love Paramos. Not even did can separate me from him. No word from you, Tesby. You shall never see that man again. Tesby, bring my Tesby back. Guards, take her to her room and lock it once. My love, pray, let us meet at the tomb of Ninos. I will be there, my love, I'll be waiting. The silly guards who are supposedly watching over Tisby fell asleep, and Tisby made her way out successfully. For she went to see Permos at their meeting place. This is the tomb of Ninos. But where is my love? Paramos, answer my call. Beloved, where are you?
B. Run quickly and rush to safety. Oh, the lion devoured the cloak to scratch his but leave of you when she found out of its word. Not so long after Paramos arrived. Oh moon, lovely moon, thank you for the lo lovely moonshine. Where can this be? My love be? What is this? How can it be? This be got killed. That villain lion eat my first dame that I love. And thus, I am dead. Now, I am fled. My soul is in the sky. May the moon take my flight. Now, I die, die, die. Asleep, my love. O oh, Peramos, arise, speak. The time must have covered your eyes. You lily bros, your cherry nose, they are all gone. Oh, Paramos, tongue not a single word, can bleed, and to my heart impede, and farewell to the world, for I, be, I will be with my love forever. After that incident, months have passed and about time for the mulberry tree to have its season to bear fruits, then it came a mysteriously red fruit that can be compared to the blood of Pyramus and his beloved Tesbi, which flooded and feed the bulberic tree to its growth. The lovers that was once separated by fate was reunited by death. That was a great story of love, Father. Now I understand the mulberries attractively distinct color. Father, what's that? Bye. Papaginala bye. 